Hey, Sugar Cubes, it's your boy, Sugar. I don't know if any of you guys still watch cable, but when I was younger, I used to watch a channel called TLC. The channel today would be the equivalent of a vlogging channel on YouTube, with shows like 18 Kids and Counting and Outdaughtered. I love that one. A few years ago, there was a show called Extreme Couponing. The people in the show would spend hours gathering all sorts of coupons in order to leave the grocery store scot-free. These people would buy $300 worth of products and be able to get out of the store not paying anything. Sometimes the store would even owe them money. But apparently the people in the show were using counterfeit coupons, so it got cancelled. Either way, my mom got super into it and even created her own book dedicated to saving. In a huge family like mine, saving money is important. Feeding 12 isn't easy when there isn't enough money to go around. Growing up, us older kids just knew that we couldn't ask for much. And that was fine. The only time we'd ever go out to a fancy restaurant was on birthdays, depending on the price, of course. If it wasn't a birthday and we were going out, it meant that there was some sort of coupon my mom had stumbled into. Because of this, I'm not too familiar with many restaurants. So, what's your favorite restaurant? Mmm... Does the dollar menu at McDonald's count? We were the type of family that goes to Costco just to walk around and eat the free samples. Don't get the wrong idea, my parents aren't cheap. They just want to have enough money to send 10 kids to college one day. It's actually a joke in my family that if I ever get married, psh, if I get, ever get married, that for the wedding reception, instead of ordering a huge expensive cake, we would just take everyone down to the local C's candy to get a free sample. Not a bad strategy if you ask me. Because of all the couponing and savings, I could always count on going to Chick-fil-A twice a year for their two free meal events. The first one being Cow Day. In order to get a free meal, you had to dress up as a cow, so my mom would make us costumes using clear ponchos and spray paint. We would storm the Chick-fil-A as a stampede of cattle. I thought it was hilarious, although I'm not too sure the staff were enthusiastic about it. The second event they have every year was in honor of the military. Thanks, Dad, for the endless supply of military discounts. On this particular military day, about four years ago, they had a bounce house for the little kids and some competitions set up on a table. There was a chicken eating competition and a lemon squeezing one. I stated in my sports video that I'm not the most competitive person out there and back then I was definitely shy. I was too nervous to be in the spotlight, but my mom wouldn't have it, so she pushed me into the competition area. My brother Allwright was participating, so I thought I should give it a try. As long as I wasn't alone at the table, it'd be fine. The competition went as follows. The person that squeezed the most juice out of the lemons in a three minute time period wins. The containers were opaque, so no one would be able to tell who was in the lead. I was kind of out of the lemon squeezing game. I was 18 at the time. The last time I had made lemonade was when I was six. The competition was about to begin when all of a sudden, this random kid next to me started bugging me. Hey, hey, look at me. What? How many lemons do you squeeze in a week? Uh, none? Well, I squeeze lemons for my mom every day. Okay, that's oddly specific. I'm pretty much the lemon squeezing champ. If I were you, I would back out of the competition. Those are some mighty words. But you realize you shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch, right? I don't know what you're blabbing about, Grandma, but you're never gonna beat these guns. Me and Alright just looked at each other. This kid's so going down. Haha, <laughs> yeet. That kid wouldn't stop blabbing about how great he was at squeezing lemons. I really wasn't going to try that hard, but after some smack talk, I was determined to win this thing. I wasn't about to be told off by some 12-year-old. All of the seats to the competition were filled up, including two adults. We all got ready to start. Attention everyone, the lemon squeezing competition is about to begin. On your marks, get set, go! There was no foul play, Lemon Boy legit knocked over his own cup. <laughs> Needless to say, he was quiet when the competition ended. I ended up winning the competition, I guess drawing gave me some crazy grip strength because even against the adults, I had the most juice squeezed out. I don't know, anyone want to arm wrestle sometime?
Just goes to show that you really shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch. Have any of you guys ever participated in a strange little competition? Let me know down in the comments below. Quick reminder that I'll be at Animanga Expo this year, the 3rd and 4th of August to be exact. It's coming up super fast, I have a booth in the artist alley and a booth in the signing area. More information about these booths will be on my Twitter, so look out if you're going. Information about tickets and deals will be in the description below. I had a blast at VidCon, so next video will be about that, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye! A few years ago, there was a show called Extreme Couponing. Coupon- oh, frick. My mom had stumbled- st stumbled? My mom had- st My mom had stumbled in- Why can't I speak?